Hiya everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Segan. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make flaxseed gel at home. So if you guys wanna know how I make it, how I style my hair to have like a slick back look, continue watching. But first, I wanna give a major shout out to the following people right over here. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel. If you guys wanna shout out like them, all you have to do is like this video. Let's get it to 100 likes. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment section down below that you did it. That way I can give you guys a shout out in my next upload. So a really big thing that Flaxy Gel has is vitamin E. You guys already know vitamin E is crucial for hair repair, scalp repair, and hair growth. So in addition to that, it reduces early grays, it reduces hair shedding, and you guys already know, <laughs> your girl's hair sheds a lot. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I apply it and the hair shedding that I experience after applying it. I promise you guys, it's worth it. So stick around. <laughs> My hair has been feeling great. It's been feeling light and not weighed down. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so let's get into how I make flaxseed gel. So when I was doing my research, it was really hard to find measurements. Um, and I actually had to make a couple of batches because the first batch, there was way too many flaxseeds to water ratio. The second batch was way too much water ratio to flaxseed. And finally, I got it right. So these are the measurements that I use. I'll pop them on the screen for you guys right over here and in the description box below. So I added two and a half cups of water to a pot and put it on medium high. And then I added four tablespoons of flax seeds. To make sure that no flax seeds kind of get burnt at the bottom of the pot, it's really crucial for you guys to keep an eye on it. If you guys decide to make it at home, make sure you guys are stirring it. Um, this is not something that you can leave. <laughs> so it's really important to stir it from time to time. That way the flax seeds don't burn at the bottom of the pot. So after about 20 minutes, the consistency starts looking like this but that's still not thick enough, so leave it in for another 15 minutes. So after about 15 minutes, it'll start looking like this. And you'll even notice as you start stirring it that it's much thicker. So after the consistency looks like this, I leave it in the pot to cool for about 30 minutes. It's really important not to leave it in the pot for a long time, so I would definitely set a timer for about 30 to 40 minutes for cool down because if you don't, then it gets really difficult to extract the gel from the flaxseed. Trust me, I made a few batches and I had to learn the hard way. So make sure you set a timer for about 30 to 40 minutes for a cool down and then extract the flaxseed gel. So to extract the gel, I take a measuring cup and I take a wig cap. You can use an old pair of stockings. You could use a cheesecloth as well. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using a strainer only because you don't get all of the gel that is in the pot. So once I did that, I started extracting the flaxseed gel using the wig cap. Honestly, it might look gross, but it's super satisfying. I don't know, I found it kind of satisfying for me. It looks gross, trust me, but it's super satisfying. <laughs> so once I extracted the gel, I put it in an applicator bottle, but I did have some left over, so I just put it in a clear container to use later on. So let me show you guys how I applied the flaxseed gel to my hair. This is what the final product looks like. It is super gooey and slimy, which is perfect. I washed it a few days ago. I washed it on my last vlog, so Sunday, early Sunday morning, really late Saturday night. My hair is a bit... Um, tangled, it's a bit untamed, which is totally fine because flaxseed gel has a lot of slip, so I'm not too worried about that. So all that I'm gonna be using in this video is the flaxseed gel and a bit of water. So I'm gonna start off by spraying my hair with a little bit of water. I'm gonna part in the middle. I did a survey, I did a, um, I did a survey on my Instagram and a lot of you guys preferred the middle part than the side part and I was doing the side part for years, not thinking um, the middle part looked better on me. So my hair isn't drenched, I just lightly kind of sprayed it with some water. So next I'm gonna take the flaxseed gel and apply it to my hair. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't really have a smell to it, I don't know. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the slime. little ASMR for you guys. Ew. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply that all over my hair. 
essentially. So next I'm gonna take my bristle brush and brush my hair back. I'm gonna put it into a low bun, but do you guys see how shiny my hair looks? Oh my God. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my ends because if you guys caught my last vlog when I was doing the onion treatment, my ends lately have been like super dry. I wanna make sure that my ends are moisturized. So I'm just gonna put my hair into a low bun. Ooh, I know you guys see that hang time. Sorry, I get excited for like the smallest things. Anyways, I'm just gonna put my hair into a low bun. I like to finger detangle um, my hair. Again, this has a lot of slip, so I'm not even pressed that I didn't detangle my hair before doing a slick back. Because typically that's what I would do when I'm using regular gel. I would finger detangle my hair using oil and then I would use gel on top of that to do like a slick back look. But with the flaxseed gel, you it's like two in one. You have the nutrients from the flaxseed and also the texture that you want from a gel. To kind of finish off, I just kind of twist it and put it into a bun. Now that I have it in the bun, I'm just going to... Make sure that everything is all flat. So I wanna show you guys the hair fallout that I had with just using the flaxseed gel and kind of finger detangling my hair as I go. And this is the, ooh, can you guys not see? Uh, uh, ah, cause it's so small. <laughs> so this is the hair fallout that I had. And quite honestly, this past month, my hair fallout has been this amount or less with doing like the onion treatments, the aloe vera treatment, like putting flaxseed in my hair and things like that. Like I'm keeping it very natural. <laughs> so if you guys don't wanna use the flaxseed as a slick back, you can also use it as a wash and go. It kind of replaces Eco Styler gel. Like if you use Eco Styler gel in your hair regimen, like just replace it with flaxseed gel and it's the same thing. But like I mentioned, there is no flakiness. With that being said, I'm going to wrap my hair um, with my head wrap. That way, any other flyaways that my brush um, didn't kind of flatten out will be nice and flat. So typically, I like to leave my head wrap in for a few minutes. Um, I'll do my makeup, get ready, or whatever it is I need to do, um, and then I'll take it off once it's done drying. All right, so I'm gonna quickly change and I'll be right back. Let me know if you guys ever tried flaxseed gel. I'm new to it, but I've been absolutely loving it these past few weeks. It leaves no residue, no flakiness, no white casting or anything. So I would highly recommend it. You only need two ingredients for this DIY, flax seeds and water. So it's super great, super inexpensive. I do want to put some essential oils in my next batch. I think next time uh, I want to put some peppermint oil. I've seen people do lavender oil and things like that, but ultimately it's up to you guys. I would highly recommend doing this DIY. It's super easy, super inexpensive, and I think it will work for most hair textures. But that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY natural hair videos. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful, then you guys might enjoy these videos right over here. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. We're almost at 40K, which is insane. So thank you so much for liking, commenting, and sharing, and I'll see you guys in my next upload on Thursday. Bye.